Hey guys, my name is Megan. I'm a dance education major from the University of Southern Mississippi. I started dance when I was about four years old and absolutely loved, loved it. it. And I didn't start taking it seriously until I was about a junior in high school. It really helped me be who I am and really express who I was as a dancer and as a person. Being a dancer is tough, but if you eat healthy, stay in shape, keep stretching, and also reflecting, everything will be much more enjoyable and easier as a, as a dancer. Everyone has to eat to have energy and also to give us vitamins and minerals throughout the day. Fruits, vegetables, grains, and drinking lots of water are the main things that I look for when I'm taking anything into my body. Food is very important, especially after dancing, to restore energy. I also always try to eat breakfast. You need to eat before going to school and doing other activities because growing and learning is important and if I'm hungry, I know that is all I'm thinking about. NourishInteractive.com states that kids who eat breakfast tend to learn more. Storing energy in the morning helps me stay awake and feel so much better. I know a lot of my teachers have also told me to always eat the rainbow. Many of the times you can eat reds like tomatoes, greens like salads, cucumbers, spinach. You can also eat grapes that is purple and many other different colors to keep having nourishment in your body. Water is also very important to drink throughout the day. Water helps athletes stay hydrated and that is needed when dancing due to hot, getting hot and tired. I know when I was younger that I didn't like water because I couldn't taste anything. I started putting lemon in my water or even one of those pouches of juice that can be mixed in. You need to at least drink eight glasses of water a day. I know that sounds a lot, but you really need to. It really helps you stay hydrated. I always keep a water bottle with me so I can fill it up when I need to and never get thirsty. Stretching is known in the dance class to feel ready for dance and to prevent injuries. Doing different stretches helps dancers be aware of how their body is feeling at that time before moving intensely. There are common stretches that make dancers feel good for class. Here are some examples. I always start with a head roll to stretch out my neck and shoulders. Then I stretch out my arms and then move into a lunge which stretches out my legs. This helps to have great range of motion. I move into a split which also targets the legs but stretches the legs a little more. I had trouble going all the way down at first, so I had to teach myself to hold myself up. No matter what, filling the muscles is what is important. Another common stretch is side stretching. Putting the arm over your head to give the arm a nice stretch and feeling in your torso, and that also really feels good. It is also good to move while you're in the different stretches. It helps get your body warm. All dancers stretch before dancing because they feel longer and more engaged. These are common stretches that most dancers do. After dancing, you should also stretch because your body is warm and the muscles will stretch better. Stretches help to be more flexible and when your body is warm and being stretched, the muscles will stay in place. Stretching after dance also keeps you from getting sore and that is a bummer. To stay in shape for dance, there are many things involved. Running helps endurance, which means to dance for a long time and to keep up energy. Running also helps me think about everything that I need to do, but also to get away and breathe. I like to run outside to look at the place around me and see what is going on in the world. I know I'm not a very good runner, but I try my best to do it as much as I can. Running is not the only thing that is needed for dancers to stay in shape. There are push-ups for strength, yoga to center yourself, and abs to engage your core and lift through the spine. Athletes need to keep in tune to their body so that they know how to take care of it. Staying in shape is very important so your body does not become weak when you are dancing. When I perform a 10 minute dance, I need endurance and strength to get through the performance. Everyone has different bodies, so try anything that works for you and do that. Writing in a journal is one good way to keep up with your thoughts throughout the day and something to keep up with so when you get older you can look back at your experiences. From day to day, reflecting on your experiences and what happened is something that everyone should learn how to do, especially dancers. Tracking things such as your successes, combos learned in the day, and even corrections to give yourself help you know what to keep an eye on during class and help you to know you're doing great. Write down things you need to work on, but most importantly, the things that you loved doing during the day and that you did awesome on. 
Looking back on the day you have helps you grow as a person and learn how to respond to different situations. It also helps you relax. Dancers have a lot to take care of, but we do it because we love to dance. Motivation is key. I know it's sometimes hard to not get out of bed or do other things and you have other things going on, but once we do it, we'll feel so much better about ourselves. Staying with it is, is hard, but it's worth it in the end.